Hi, I'm Kristen with First Updates Now, and I'm here with Team 1533 Triple Strange with Braxton and DJ. Um, do you guys want to tell me a little bit about uh, the robot? How did y'all come up with the design? Um, I guess any issues that y'all had kind of getting up and running? Yeah, so we came off of our great touring run last year with the Phenomenal Elevator, and we knew that really we were going to stick with that same design and run this elevator with some advanced things that we would change. So we changed our bearing blocks, and we went from a cascading to a continuous lift and sort of built everything off of that. So this is our really V2 elevator. We built everything around it. We have our hatch manipulator here. So it's actuated on pistons. So it stays inside the frame perimeter and pushes out. And then we have one piston working at around 10 pounds. Um, so what that allows us to do is run into the cargo ship or run into the rocket and it really squishes inward, so we don't have to worry about breaking a mechanism because we're running into that. And then our secondary, our cargo intake is here. This is our second version of it. Um, our first event we went to, we had it made out of aluminum. We broke it horribly in finals two, and we really had to sort of reevaluate how we built it. So we now have steel tubing that's bent. So it's a single piece, it's steel. Really, it's gonna bend instead of breaking. So we've really now taken our second event to really beef up our robot and make sure that we're gonna make it through this event without breaking. Awesome. Um, DJ, do you want to talk a little bit? I know you are um, you just started learning or just started being primary driver at Thor. Um, do you want to talk a little bit about driver training and, and kind of how that worked out? Yeah. So I've driven now, Guilford was my first official event that I drove at, um, but I've driven at two previous off-season events, Thor 2017 and 2018. So it's been kind of a evolution of learning how Swerve works and just adjusting to the kind of Swerve mindset as opposed to tank drive. So being able to literally translate any direction on the field helps to make the robot more maneuverable and allows us to get faster cycling times. Awesome. Well, it sounds like you guys are off to a great start for this event, and um, we hope to see you all on the finals field. Um, good luck. Thank you. We need your help to keep fun loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.